Alrighty. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we finished day one of the trial, found out that uh, Mr. Edgeworth uh, really fucked up and forgot to give us crucial information about another murder that happened. So you know what? Touche. Let's go. February 23rd, 2.15 p.m. Bright and Cole offices. Uh, um, Mr. Wright, so... What's going on with this case anyway? I'm a little confused. Huh? Well, let's see. What is going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the, the police and the police department's evidence room. Why is that so hard for me to say? Police department. What's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Or try to at least. Alright, let's do it. There's some good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be a much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Hmm? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick-rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go. Science awaits us. I guess we're just going! February 23rd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. Yeah, no. I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in their evidence room. No biggie. Besides, my sister... We we'll never do such a thing, I know it. The girl's room was empty. The girl drum kicked over by prosecutor. Oh, by the chief prosecutor was room with water. My sister raising evidence of the crime scene. Never. Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. It's not it at all. How can she keep reading our thoughts? Just we're both professionals of what we do, and I trust her. Good words for a high school student. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. Hehe. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. What's that grin for? Situation calls for one thing, and that is. Luminal testing fluid. Luminal. Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. That's why when you clean and stuff, it's like when you cut yourself like while you're cooking, you use um like a hydro what's it called? It's hydro something. But it helps to wash away all the chemicals left behind by blood. And then it'll pass a luminol test. And that's also um what's used for showcasing bodily fluids on stuff. So on like fabrics and stuff, you spray that and then um, like blue light. Depending on what it is. The police have already done those tests. Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Let's give it a try. Give it a try. Me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. What does that have to do? I'm getting blood stains with this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look, I'll lend you these glasses. You had an extra pair of those things? Ew! <laughs> the test for a blood reaction to spray the luminol on it. Like this, see? Press enter to spray on it. Okay, let's find some blood stains. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, uh, uh, spritzy. And then we spritzy. And then spritzy. Seven. Ah! I see her eyes shine behind those glasses. So this is a blood stain. Uh, so, ugh. Emma, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay, well we definitely know this is a blood stain. But does something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. The amount of blood. Perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Do you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. Thank God we're not in red. 
I mean, look at the blood on the sword of the Just pretty strange. They fought here. It'd have to be more blood than that. Hey, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna mark up the floor plans with where we found the blood sign, okay? That's a pretty good idea. See? They're pretty handy to have around, right? This looks pretty handy too. I saved my last smile. The mineral testing fluid received from the very proud looking Emma Sky. Luminol testing fluid. Solution used for scientific investigation. Finds blood traces. Spray to use. It can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. So let's drag that hidden evidence out in the light of day. Yeah. It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? It's almost like we've been the whole time, Emma! <laughs> Guess I should give this spray on anything suspicious. Ha! Ah. No! <laughs> I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Mr. R. You don't want to trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you two. This day old deli box on the house. So it's just... That kind of lead... Uh, that kind of lead in doesn't really get my mouth water. How can I help you? Chinley put me in a tough spot today. I apologize for star, but... No, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know! I witnessed everything for this secretary room right there. But I was afraid that it was not convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry. You lied on the witness stand! That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the events was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood. And that testimony still stands. Hmm. I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed Goodman. Technically, you're not a detective anymore. Because you just broke the law. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? Hey, girly. So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Stone? Yes. That was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hardened the criminal, when they faced me, they coughed it up. I can give you two reasons why, none of which I should say on the internet. Coughed it up. They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know. I may seem like a demon sometimes. But I could be an angel too. No one died. Every day I drag dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. And before long they called me the cough up queen. Oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches! <laughs> and you were let go. <clears throat> Fire. I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And then those prim and proper prosecutors... Oh, and if those prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean... Oh, girly, do I have stuff for you! View and examine so many things. Um... Uh, what do you know about this? It's on that incident. It's been on that knife. And on that night. Good man. Who man was the head detective in that case, you know? Really? And I have the evidence from the case, the murder weapon. It was due for a transferal the very day that Goodman was killed. As I suspected, SL9 isn't over, not yet. 
Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Uh, no. Oh! Tell me more about this one. I like what else do we have. I think about it. I could have taken the picture from the guard room. But even I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime? I was told the chain link friend. Vincent and attempt to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes were the whole problem. The whole of my testimony, as it were. Five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Starry. You lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. I had my testimony disregarded before. And I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time- that part! Alright. Talk to me, girly! I just didn't really open up my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Three years ago. It was the biggest case I'd ever handled. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So they didn't solve it. On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed? Oh! This criminal got what was coming to him. And again, you claim that. The problem was, I never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. Fuck! Well, but the criminal was executed, right? I hate. Okay. On the basis of evidence of a sort. Made up evidence. What? When they executed someone with fabricated evidence? I hate law. The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen. Others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those. Myself and one other person you know well. How could that be? Detective Cowboy? Yeah! Detective Jack Marshall. Oops, I mean, Police Department Security Detail. Officer. Is that Jake or Jack? Let me spell. Except when I'm totally not? Tell me stuff! I mean, with the truth, girly! As a professional detective, we investigated the case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined. And then it was over. And he was demoted. Well, damn, okay. This. <laughs> However. He hasn't forgotten. And neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There's another side to the case, a hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Oh, tell me things! The only reason I come to sell lunches at this accursed office. I'm here to meet old friends. Boyfriends can help me investigate. Sorry, old boyfriends. How many does she have anyway? Enough. He has enough. Just when all the de detectives of SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. That's to be a connection. So, rookie. What? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes. 
Then you should take this. A steak? Salisbury steak lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Steak lunch received from Miss Star. Excellent for putting Officer Marshall in a good mood. Steak lunch received from Miss Star. Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is he your. Are you his. Are you. You're going out? What do you want to know? I'm just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do pieces, he was so nice. I had a long so with my sister. It made me jealous. She was nice to me too back then. This would have been Officer Marshall at what? Oh, this would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. But now, life's so cold. Dick and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I, I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Well, thank you, madam. I'm about to spray this building, so you might want to leave. A ladder. Step ladder. The difference in scientific terms, please. Scientific power. Looks like the basic nature of a thing. All seems so horribly familiar. Uh. Okay. A door. I'm not sure it would mean anything. It will open. Go all over. Look at things that we already looked at. No purpose. No security office. We already saw all this. I'm just. Oh, sorry. Probably means she wasn't lying. She said she saw me sky stabbing. Where's the security guard anyway? Well, this is just something I heard. Apparently he went out to buy coffee with a star. Oh, what was the force we reckon with? Actually, she's helping us out right now. Phone. Touch stuff we shouldn't be touching. Can't hear anything. And then... The phone's broken, we don't know. And we divide her. He helped us to knock a hole in that testimony today. Come to think of it. This divider helped our case more than the actual witness. The great divider. Took off the old parking block. It's just a wall. Scientifically speaking. <clears throat> I should not be there. It's a famous oil room. Well, no time like the present. I'll try to keep it on myself. Yeah. That's okay, don't cry. That lone sky must be one strong woman. Hi. People walk us through there. That's what visitors for. So, Miss Stark went over this fence. So, yeah. That fence is nine feet high at least. I don't want the present. I think I'll give it a little try. Aye. That's okay, don't cry. Maybe there's a long slammed Olympic scene. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. That's about as red as a sports car from the end. It was pretty red all right. What is found in the trunk of Edgar's car trunk? Not that the trunk is broken too. The question is why did Miss Sky choose this car? What little car is it? I think it was called a sedan or a coup. A coop? Something like that. Except her types, Mr. Wright, not my eyes. You're a guy, aren't you, Mr. Wright? You're supposed to know these things. It's about time I got a driver's license. Overrated. If you can get places on a bike, get places, get to places on a bike. That's where we found that note. 221 SL9. The SL9 incident. That case that was due for transferral the day of the murder. The detective in charge of the case was the victim. I wonder what kind of case the SL9 incident thing was. It's kind of hard to guess just knowing the case number. I guess we have to go. The, um, what's it called? Oh, the detective area. <coughs> this rope is it. Yep, they laid it out, out the outline of the victim's body. 
Oh wait. Peter must have died and the killer pulls the trunk on him. You have got to be the only person. I... that would come to that conclusion. Okay, now we need to... Uh, spritz. Could you take a look at this? You, yes. You said you wanted some hot tea, right? No, but thanks. She didn't even look at it. You must have to brew the leaves for a long time to get a rich flavor like this. You pre infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it. The secret to their aroma. Exquisite. I think we need to go to the, the detention center. So thank you, madam. You were helpful for once. Uh, police department. Very 23rd, police department. Entrance. Even busier here today than it was yesterday. Detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. It doesn't make sense. The detective did get killed here after all. The evidence room. The scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet, we got at the front desk. There it is. It's like a kid at an amusement park. Ooh, real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Here we go. Car station. right now I'm so sorry oh my god why is this so fun why is there a clothes line by it? <laughs> I'm fucking dead uh January 23rd evidence room entrance guard sta what is this <laughs> I'm dead. That's it. I'm done. I'm gone. Bye. Ah, oh, February twenty third. Evidence room entrance guard station. God damn. Look at the decor in this place. Very eccentric. Go to the pamphlet. Pamphlet. This is the guard station for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime. It sure is that way. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? <laughs> Look at these cacti. They're so prickly, so imposing. It's hard to think straight. Can't handle the cacti. Stay out of the desert. What I want to know is, if this is the guard station, where is the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna examine the frick out of this. Cool hat. Yipes. These sure are prickly. Really? Must be the real deal. I would think just one just one big one would be sufficient. This cat die. I like that my sister actually. How so? In case of cold reaches shell, with spines pointing in every direction. Just like her. I'm not sure I see the resemblance. It's more of an attitude thing than a physical similarity. You need to be more specific. <clears throat> These swinging doors make the place look more like. Oh, make. <sighs> These swinging doors makes the place look like some kind of saloon. Oh look, it's nailed shut. We well, can't get in that way. Of course not. We went through here. The cactus would fall over. Ouch. I'd say it's more of a yeah myself. There's a security guard uniform hanging here. I feel like a costume than a uniform, honestly. Not with the jacket, with the pants, leather. What's it called again? A punchy, a paunchy, a pinchy. I know. A chewy. It's a poncho. Which maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. <clears throat> Looks like there's video feed from the evidence room here. 
There's a light blinking below the monitor. It's recording. I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out of here. Meaning that they already know who's in and out. Probably not with all the bottles everywhere. Texas! Look on the floor, a lasso. Seems like it's a setup to trap something. A trap here. Oh wait, I know. Maybe someone is trying to catch a wild bull in here. But the lasso missed. You sure have an active imagination. Well, we know who we tried to lasso a bull. The evidence room is beyond the door. Let's just walk in. I won't open. You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. <sighs> Let's go find him. February 23rd, police department entrance. This place is charged with frantic energy as always. Please! Let's take lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe! What up, my guy? I'm going to have chat. Val, well, I'm a busy man. What I really need is steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you need one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. Aw. You just get sort of heartbreaking. Now it's not time for despair. What a criminal. Oh, just the evidence. Criminal, you mean. You heard about the stabbing at the police department evidence room, right, pal? <coughs> On the same day, the detective was killed in the prosecutor's party room. The detective was killed at the police department. The perpetrator, do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything stops you turning. Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I know is I need me a steak lunch pronto. Hanging around, here talking is going to fill my belly. Wait, don't leave. If you want to know more, I head down to the detention center panel. Questioning it should be over. So I figure he's down there having a good cry. Later. I ran off to the evidence room. This investigation is off to a running start. Guess we'll go to the detention center. Where's uh, apartment? February 23rd, police station, criminal affairs department. Everything looks... everyone looks so deadly serious here. It was a vicious murder of the detective... a detective down at the police department. It was the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Ugh, wish I had hurt. First things first, let's go check out that police department crime scene. He's not dead set on investigating. But don't mess up, we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. But it doesn't look like there's anyone- anyone's gonna help us much either. Um, you lie! There's one of the detectives. The mumbling said the truth himself. I know! The killer used dry ice! If you were between the latch and the door, the room would be sealed shut. This is good. I'll win a, a writer's award for sure. He's not writing a report, he's writing a novel. You got your wish, buddy. It's the police mascot. You badger. You just have the police force. And it's a little change from the one outside. Yeah, well, the dancing blue badger. Damn. It's still under development, you see. You have a trademark? Absolutely. It's cutting edge stuff, very now. I showed this doll to my daughter and she burst into tears. I'll show her the moving mock outside then. We give her nightmares. And then Officer of Law. Let's be Chief Detective. He glued to his computer screen. Detective killed in the evidence room. Tell no one outside the police department. No, I told that old lady at the restaurant everything! <laughs> oh, we're about to see the death of a career. That one's getting a demotion. Computer, the files. Not really using their desks. I think we're done here. We're moving out. Detention center. February 23rd, detention center. Visitor's room. 
still, I do feel better about things. A little. I mean, they got the Prisoner who stopped Detective Goodman, didn't they? Yeah, I guess they did. Best not to go too far down that road right now. Things are st will still get confusing. Aye! No, thank you. What was that? <sighs> Sir, that's what I was saying. Me, a perpetrator? <clears throat> I'd say I was perpetrated against, sir. That's what I'd say. Oh no! <laughs> no! Not me again! <laughs> oh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me. What is this to Edgeworth? Uh, anyone on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the quest of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, you're the guard here at the detention center. No, sir. I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman. Like a little lost lamb, sir. Now I get it. I'm here to deliver a report. No, sir. I had. Have... How should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? You. Officer Meekins, you didn't, did you? <clears throat> ah, ye! Perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir. What? What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. I'm ending this episode. I can't. I cannot. So I will not. Good fucking lord. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you later.